disrupt your peace and I, I think that it's just it missing a whole aspect of existing as a human especially in America or in any kind of society where you must work which is literally everywhere you know like it, it's just cleaning toilets disrupts my peace but do I want a dirty toilet no I don't um, doing laundry disrupts my peace, but do I want clean clothes? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, you know, it just, and I know they were just like, oh, the things that are like, don't hang out with friends that are toxic. Why do you have toxic friends in the first place for this to need to be advice? We'll talk about that later. Toxic friends. <laughs> Walking the other way. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like that. Like, just let it go. Um, but that whole like piece of advice like and I know it was meant more toward people who have jobs where they're just like I'm really not happy in this job and they're like then leave okay but I don't have another job and I still have bills like my bills don't go away just because I don't have a job that's not how that works you know even if I get unemployment benefits I still the reason I need the unemployment check is to pay the bills that I have <laughs> you know? I'm just like okay well um that so so to me that the it was kind of that piece of advice needed to be directed at something but some people are going to be like well I can't and I said so here's here's my take on how to endure things that disrupt your peace without completely derailing your peace okay so if you have some sort of routine for um, self-care whether it be regular massages maybe maybe it's um you know, gardening, maybe it's uh, talking to friends, hanging out with friends. Make sure you schedule that time regularly, as regularly as possible. Put it on the schedule. If you're used to getting massages, call your massage therapist, put yourself on their schedule so that way you can like have something to look forward to. Um, the other thing, um, for example, I have a spa day coming up with my friends. It's on the schedule and I'm absolutely going. You know, I will be tired, but it's a spa day. You're supposed to relax, duh, so I'm going. 
Um, the other thing, <laughs> it didn't go as, as well as I planned it last weekend. Um, Friday, I decided that even though I had my lunch all taken care of, that I was gonna go for the gusto and have like the best lunch ever. Got a salad, got some soup, um, got my breakfast for the day, and I saw strawberry lemonade, and I was like, I'm gonna get the strawberry lemonade. It turned out to be grapefruit juice, and I didn't find that out until I drank it. I was like, oh, oh, wow! You know, it was just, <laughs> it was a hot mess. I tried. Um, and um, I will be a little bit more careful in picking up strawberry lemonade next time. I read the label of the shelf, but not the label of the freaking juice. Anyway, um, I fixed it. I added it to Sprite. And I had champagne to add it to, but I just, you know, I feel like drinking an entire bottle of champagne by myself. Anyway, so, I, I mean, just that. But the point of what was supposed to happen Friday was I was supposed to just kind of disrupt... Um, the peace disruptors, you know, it's just like, well, I've had a good breakfast. So now, no matter what happens, at the end of the day, I have strawberry lemonade. Oh, and I got chocolate turtles. I got like the little, it's an expensive pack of turtles. Them things cost so much. Hey, they used to be three, four dollars. Like the pack, I'm just, I don't know. They didn't got full of themselves. Is he not going? Okay, well. All right. He like stopped midway and I was like, oh. But yes, so that was the point. That that whole like it was almost like a treat yourself moment. Um, today I stopped and picked up tea. I was gonna pick up the water so I could make tea at work, and I was just like, no, not today. Today is not the day. I'm just gonna have somebody else make my tea, and I'm gonna call it a day. How about that? So I, I just. When you have to do things you don't want to do, just try to budget for things that do make you happy. I'm not saying go on a do do retail therapy because it's honestly the worst idea ever, to be honest. Um, I participate in that and it's a bad plan. It's such a bad plan, so I'm, I'm working on that. Um, but for the, for the most part, find the things that, the little things that you're just like, oh, <laughs> you know, oh, I have a little breakfast today. I don't usually stop for breakfast. I just made time for breakfast today. That's those little things. Or, you know what? I need to get my nails done. I think I'll go get my nails done. Or, you know, let me get a pair of sunglasses. Don't, no, I'm just kidding. Don't do the sunglasses thing. You probably already have some because there is sun where you are too. Uh, that's all I have to say. And <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. Life's like a box of chocolates. Um, yeah, it is like a box of chocolates, but there's those cherry filled ones that I don't like in there as well. And when I eat those, I just need to. I can't tell what he's about to do. Let me get off. Let me be done with this. So, <laughs> find the little things that help bring back just a touch of peace. All right? You're not going to be able to not do everything that you don't want to do. Like, I don't like going to the bank. Well, if I want to check on my money, I'm going to have to go to the bank. You know, if somebody gives me a check to cash, I can just use the mobile app for that. Unless I want to cash it, then I do have to go to the bank. But it's just, find the things that you can do, little things you can do to keep your peace. You know, and just also, you know, boundaries and stuff like that. So, I that's all I have to say. Um, my peacekeeper items are singing and um, I mean doing these are kind of helpful it kind of helps me vent and think things through because I mean as much as I'm saying this to other people sometimes I need to hear it myself and um, you know it's it's really odd if I was talking to myself and the camera wasn't rolling that's really weird but anyway thank you for writing to work with me <laughs> I hope you have a marvelous week <laughs> marvelous Monday yay okay I hope you have a good week or whatever the next time it is I post. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. I have a singer page on YouTube, which is actually, I'm kind of a polymath. I do a lot of things. So I just, I just do a lot of things. Um, <laughs> so you can keep up with me if you like Facebook. Um, I'll put that down there. Instagram, I post on Instagram a lot more than I post on the Facebook. So maybe the Instagram. And also, you can check out my opera company. Um, and I should have some pictures posted from like the current opera that we are, like a separate opera company that I'm working with right now in the chorus. 
Um, I am woman number 11. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not. There's not 11 of us. There's only six or five or something like that. So I'm like woman number five or something. But anyway, <laughs> you can check out pictures from that as well.